Hi, from the previous web services implementation presentation, you have learned how to implement a wisdom first or top down or contract first web service using Apache CXF. It was done in three simple steps. The first step was to create or handwrite a wisdom file and generate the stubs and implement one of our web services class was implementing these generated stubs. The second step was to define our uh, web services implementation class as an endpoint in the CXF servlet.xml and the third step was to declare the CXF servlet which comes with the CXF jars in the web.xml which is the deployment descriptor of our application. From this presentation you will learn how to do a Java first web service or code first web service or top down uh, sorry bottom up web service using Apache CXF in three simple steps again. The first step is to create an interface which has all our web services methods and annotate this interface using the JAX WS annotations like at web service which will go at the interface level and at web method which goes at the method level within, for each method within this interface we will annotate them using the at web method annotation and for the parameters we can use the at param, at web param annotation. There are several other annotations, you will see them in action when we get to the hands on. Once we define that interface and annotate it, our web services class that we want to expose as a web service will implement that interface and override all the methods within that interface. If this class already exists, we will do it the other way around. So from this class, we, we uh, write the interface and then annotate it. The second step is to define this implementation class as a either interface or implementation class as an endpoint in the cxf servlet.xml which if you remember is the configuration spring configuration file for apache cxf the third and final step is to declare the cxf servlet which comes with the cxf jars inside web.xml which is the deployment descriptor for java je applications once we do these three steps and deploy our web services application, at runtime when a SOAP request comes in, Apache CXF, the servlet, the CXF servlet loads during startup and it reads the CXF servlet.xml, all the endpoints in the CXF servlet.xml and it knows which particular endpoint is going to serve a particular SOAP request. So when a request comes in, the CXF servlet will invoke the appropriate endpoint. It first deserializes the incoming SOAP message into Java objects and then calls into the appropriate endpoint, gets the response back, deserializes the response back into a SOAP message and sends it back to the web service consumer. If you have noticed, the only step, the only difference between a code first web service and a visual first web service is step one. The remaining two steps remain the same. The step one there was to write a visual, generate the stubs and then implement one of those stubs. But here we go the other way around, we annotate our web, web services classes and CXF at runtime will generate the visual and uh, show it or it can be displayed to the end user on the browser and they can download it, generate the stubs, do all that fun stuff. The, the second and third step remains the same. To conclude, from this presentation, you have learned how to implement a Java first web service using Apache CXF in three simple steps. When we do the hands-on in the next presentation, we will be implementing a user profile web service again using the Java first approach where we will see these three steps in action. Until then, keep learning and sharing. Thanks for watching.